Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, July 26th, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A major far side solar flare yesterday, the biggest solar flare of cycle 25 coming in at X14. Holy macaroni! Over 500 quakes rattling Kilauea's upper east rift zone and a major frack quake in Texas. Keep calm. It's boom time. We've got major fire fires all over North America. We've been reporting on them, including Jasper National Park. But rain is now helping firefighters battle those blazes up in Canada. Unfortunately, half the town has been destroyed. 32% of structures in the town destroyed by the blaze. And thanks to Mother Nature, uh, that blaze is slowly getting put out. Now, according to California Fire, the fast-moving park fire in Northern California has burned more than 178,000 acres and destroyed 134 structures as of this afternoon, the largest far, uh, fire of the year. Take a look. And a boom indeed. Some sh shots here from Chico, California. Now, the bad news is this could have been prevented. A 42-year-old man has been arrested after purposely starting the park fire, which has become California's largest wildfire of the year. No doubt a Democrat. Now let's do a quick rundown on our Twitter here and you can see some of the interesting things we post over here. A major five magnitude frack quake in Texas. Here we have a rare phenomenon taking place over at that park fire. This is a fire tornado. A fire NATO even. I hope we don't get monetized for that little bit of that stupid music there. Okay, what else do we got? Major flooding today. Take a look at this. That's not a boat, folks. That's someone in a car. Shea Yang Leiling suffered the heaviest rainstorm in meteorological records with a maximum rainfall of 419 millimeters in 24 hours. In many places, well... Many places were flooded, including Long Nang, Gansu. This is uh, some footage from yesterday. Holy macaroni. That river has peaked, I believe. And more, uh, we've got footage here from Jasper Fire. This is all on our Twitter feed, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, at Diamond the Dave, and the full forecast. Areas of excessive rainfall and fire weather today. Wildfire smoke bringing unhealthy air quality to the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a quick jump over to the smoke map and take a look. Yeah, we can clearly see a major smoke hazard out here in the Pacific Northwest, specifically Northern California and Oregon. Hardest hit also moving into Idaho. Absolutely smoked out in this region. So bad news uh, for those who suffer from asthma. In southeast Texas, the coastal Carolinas and much of New Mexico today, showers and thunderstorms may bring excessive rainfall, which could lead to areas of flooding. Dry, gusty winds will contribute to scattered areas of elevated to critical fire weather today in the western U.S. Wildfire smoke is causing unhealthy air quality today in parts of the Pacific Northwest and Central Plains. We just showed you those maps and poor air quality showing up here in gray. Click on your county for more information. A quick look at the GFS model showing we have a tropical system showing up. In fact, two, two hurricanes in the first week of August now showing up on the GFS, making landfall uh, right there, Texas, Louisiana border. 
boom, it looks like a cat three here. Obviously, this is far out, probably not going to unfold this way, but the tropical season has been lacking thus far. Overall, it's going to be a great day over the next few days in the Northeast, beautiful sunny weather, and then the East Coast dries out um, here by Sunday, fun day. The whole East Coast will be dry. Doesn't look like any significant weather moving forward until maybe the beginning of the week with some pop-up severe weather up in the Northern Plains. Now, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake struck Texas, the second in less than a week of near this magnitude. The other one earlier in the week was a 4.9. Both of these related to deep well injection of wastewater from fracking. They take toxic frack water after they're done using it and they inject it thousands of feet into the earth, causing these deep well injection frack quakes. And you can expect many aftershocks to be occurring as they are. Take a look at this. At least a half a dozen aftershocks from the initial. We've got a 5.1, 3.3, 2.7, 2.6, 2.5, and a 2.9. Thanks, fracking. <laughs> no, we do need the fracking, but the deep well injection, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Worldwide, normal activity, interesting quake up here in Svalbard, but nothing of note. As over 500 quakes rattle Kilauea Volcano's Upper East Rift Zone, the unrest continues beneath Kilauea's Volcano Upper East Rift Zone with more than 500 earthquakes detected in the past 24 hours, including 12 magnitude 3 or greater as the uplift continues. The largest earthquake in the elevated unrest sequence that started on Monday was magnitude 3.9 yesterday at 4.33 a.m. Additionally, four earthquakes were detected beneath Kualupepe, Kilauea's summit, Caldera. So keeping a close eye on that for you. And bad news, Campi Falegri volcano is heating up once again with a new earthquake swarm. Magnitude 4 quake felt widely. Um, so our hearts and thoughts go out to those people affected in this region. A new swarm of earthquakes has started at the Campi Fadegri Super Volcano Caldera Volcano today. Six earthquakes have been detected so far, the largest with magnitude 4.0 with an epicenter three kilometers south of Pozuli Town. Uh, let's take a look at the latest quakes, if we can get it in three dimensions here. No, this is not going to give us what we want. Maybe this will do it. No, we're not going to get the graph. Okay, if I could pull that up tomorrow for you, um, we're going to do it. As you can see here, the number of quakes per year has been ramping up. There was a major drop down recently, but that is now ramping back up again. What could be a foot for Campi Fonegri? It's anyone's guess. Moving on with Worldwide Volcano News, we've got White Island Volcano in New Zealand. Minor ash emissions this morning, you can see there. And over in the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Nayurumaragira, lava overflowed the caldera rim and advances further to the northwest. Ibu Volcano, 7,000 foot today. Sangay to 20,000 foot. Bezamiani, after the 43,000 foot paroxysm, still puffing to 15,000 foot today. Sabankai to 22. Who knew? Now you do. Sabankai to 22. Sangay to 20. Ibu to 7,000 feet. Semaru puffing as well as Marapi puffing to 14,000 foot today. Bezamiani, a 15,000 foot puff. And a larger than average explosion occurred. Over at Stromboli today, sending glowing lava and ash to several hundred meters. Beautiful shot there. And then we have the report on the uptick at Campi Falegri to wrap up worldwide volcano news. Now, a major far side solar flare, the biggest of Solar Cycle 25. We are at Solar Max, and it's the Earth facing quiet that's keeping us safe. Had an X-14 directly facing Earth fired off with a CME. We could be in for some trouble with the grid, infrastructure, and satellites. 
So just a few days, this sunspot will be turning around the limb and things may be getting spicy on the sun. The latest HMI intensity showing some pretty significant sunspots in a row here, just like Orion, uh, but very little flaring. Low level C flares, one impulsive M flare 24 hours ago. Three day geomagnetic forecast, G1 geomagnetic storm is forecast. As you can see, College Station has been in geomagnetic storm for at least 12 of the last 24 hours. The highest, the average KP got here was 4.6, barely reaching the G1 threshold. So no real significant solar storms and certainly no aurora of note. Now let's get to the bottom of the whole chaos with Vice President Harris and the fact that she was appointed the border czar back in 1921. And the gaslighting from the mainstream media saying the direct opposite of the facts. Well, what do you expect? Here is a House Resolution 253 in the 118th Congress. And it's a resolution um, to get rid of Kamala Harris as the border czar. And they quote, whereas... On March 24th, 2021, Vice President Kamala Harris was named border czar in charge of leading efforts to stem migration across the United States-Mexico border. How do you like them apples? And how do you like this lenticular cloud over Mount Shasta yesterday? It's absolutely unbelievable. What else is unbelievable are cosmic impact oral traditions that Leah and I break down on Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble. Please come over to our new Rumble channel. Follow us there. Links will be below. And check out the newest upload, The First Burning of the Earth. The cycle repeats itself. And tomorrow on Revolution Radio, Leah and I are going to be talking about that X-14 solar flare, as well as the emergence of ochre being used in Africa and its significance for the development of ritual behavior. I think it might have had something to do with magnetic excursions. Well, just buckle up for the show and the replay on Magnetic Reversal News tomorrow night on YouTube. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video. We are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. You can hit the thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do and watch all of our podcasts, one place, commercial free. Be safe. We love you. And if you're up in just a few minutes, around 9 p.m., we're going to go live on Rumble to Rumble in the Jungle. And that is a boom.